Hi everyone and welcome back to the tutorial. In the last video I teach you how to um, make a death loop that is a bit more complex. So you could choose, for example, uh, how many chances you have to obtain the chicken. Then you would obtain a mineral and you would have more chance to obtain the emerald. And finally a treasure that would be probably heart of the sea. But with a small chance to obtain the totem instead, okay? So these are things we saw in the last episode. If you missed it, go in the description, there is a playlist. You can follow all the previous tutorials. Um, otherwise, you will probably get confused. So what is our mission today? Well, we want to make an even more complex uh, death loop, okay? Today, I will teach you how to decide how many... Uh, for example, how many chicken you will obtain, how many beef you could obtain, pork chop, diamond, etc, etc, okay? So let's jump into this tutorial. So I will just reuse the same one, okay? Um, and I will add the new things. So here you need to add what we call a function. To make it more clear for you, I will just separate all the other things okay so just care about what is here i could even show this like this okay here we go so let's say you have your chicken you have your chances to obtain it but now you want to determine how many chicken you could obtain okay uh, let's say you obtain two two eggs okay so just to say that we want to obtain two of them. I could even put it here, so it will help you to understand, okay? So, in this pair of brace, we will add a function. First of all, you need to write functions with a S, and you put squares like this, okay? Because we will have many functions. So, just to help you understand, you see, you have your functions and they will be there, okay? The only function that we will put for now is the function set count, okay? So, you have to write function, double dot, and the name of the function is set count, like this, okay? I will zoom it just to help you see uh, more easily. So you set count, okay? And then, comma, you need to write count, double dot, and as I said, we want to have two chickens. So your count is two, okay? When you have only one chicken as earlier, you don't need to specify it, okay? So you don't have to put function, set count, and count one. It's useless, okay? But here, because we have two, we need to specify it, okay? Um, so this is our function, and that's all for now. So I will just put it on the same line. Now let's say that we add, for example, the beef, okay? So we will add the beef. But for the beef, we will say... Uh, Let's say we have one beef, two, three, okay? So we have, if we obtain the beef, we have a chance to obtain a minimum of one and a maximum of three, okay? And that's what we will represent here, okay? So I will just go and find my beef. Just like this. It won't be long. So, you see, you have your beef, that is here, and we will put our function. So, functions, open your brackets, and put your different functions, okay? As I said, we have only one function, but it's always in braces. So, the function is called set count, as I said set count and 
this time the count will be like this, okay? Why? Because we will put two different values in this. The first value that we will have is min. And our minimum is 1, okay? Then, comma, max. And our maximum value is 3. Which means that, you see, if you ever obtain the beef, well, you will get one beef or a maximum of three, which means that you could also have two, okay? Um, so that's how it works. It's not very complicated, you see? Um, yeah. So if you have only one value to put, you just put your double dot and you specify the number. If you want to say a minimum and a maximum, you put this, okay? So brace and brace. And you put your min and your max. Okay. I will just put this on the same line. And now we are going to watch the pork chop. Now you will be to you will have to be uh, very careful because this is a more complex function that we will see together. Okay. In fact, the function we will put two functions, okay? We will put a function that will say that we can obtain two to five pork chops, but we would also like them to be cooked if uh, the animal is burning. Okay? So you see, you have some conditions uh, that the game has to respect uh, in order to obtain these, okay? So, the first thing you need to do is to put your weight. So just for you to follow, we put our functions, okay? Functions, double dot, square, square. And we will put our functions, but this time we will have two functions. Okay, so this one will be for the number of pork chop. The second one will be to cook uh, the pork chop if the animal is burning. So first of all, same thing as earlier, uh, function, double dot, set count, and the count is A minimum of two and a maximum of five. Okay, now your second function is to cook it, so you need to enter the function that is called furnace smelt. So, this is the function that will cook the item uh, if the animal is uh, burning okay but right now if you don't add anything else it will automatically burn the pork chop you don't want to burn it okay uh, automatically you want it to burn only if the animal is burning so therefore we need to put what is called a condition so you see we will put conditions with a S, and we will open squares. And this works the same way as the functions, you see? We open the functions and we set the different functions that we have. But here, it's conditions instead. So, what I'll do, I'll put it on the, the other line just for you to understand, okay? So, the condition is called entity properties. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, okay? Be careful. You see, uh, sometimes, even myself, I can forget some things. I had to specify the condition. Okay, So, condition, entity properties, 
Now, what is the entity? Well, the entity is um, this, and the property, the properties, is um, on fire. And you need to specify that it's true. Okay. Now, watch this. In one of the, the previous videos, I told you that uh, when you have text, it must be always uh, between quotation marks. Okay. But there was one exception that I forgot to tell you, and I'm telling you right now. When you have the value like true or false, you don't put the, co the quotation marks. Okay. Uh, I'll explain to you in another video the reason, but that's how it works, okay? So you see, when it's a number, you don't put the quotation marks, and when it's true or false, you don't put one, okay? So entity properties, you specified your entity, it was this, so the animal itself, and the properties, well, it was that the animal is on fire, okay? So, yeah, that's it. This means this whole block, this whole block right here, means that the animal will possibly drop uh, two to five um, pork chop, and they will be cooked if the animal is on fire. Okay, uh, so if the animal is burning, if you want, you see, because all of these are meat. You could also use this condition if you want, and you could put it, for example, you, you do control C, and you put it after your segments, okay, that are here. So, yeah. Wait, I mean this, okay? This is the function that you would need. You could simply take it and you would put a comma and you would put your function here okay because it's the second function okay but for now I will not do it okay I will keep it like this and I think that this is all we will see for this video in the next video we will see even more functions and other conditions and I think that it will probably be the before last uh, video about the death loops. So I hope it was clear. If it was not, I suggest that you watch the video again um, and try it in your own JSON file. And I see you in the next video.